Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this one it is sort of a preview slash a bit of an update on, uh, on, on this weekend and injuries and the lack of players we have uh, at the club at the minute that are fit to play, uh, particularly in defensive areas. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Sealt has just announced that he is out long term as well and that just adds to an absolute catalogue of injuries and it's just, it's mental how many injuries we've had over the last couple of seasons, I mean, we've always had a bad injury record. I know a lot of clubs will claim that. But particularly over the last couple of years, our injury record, particularly along the, the defensive areas, has been nothing short of atrocious. It's been absolutely ridiculous how many have been getting injured. Now, who do you blame for that? I've seen a lot of people say, you know, you know the medical staff, the, the coaches. There has to be something in there, of course. It's hard who to blame. Are we just horrendously unlucky? Or is there something more uh, that meets the eye? Because if you have a look at the injury list in general now, this is only a few I'm picking out. I'm sure I'm missing loads as well. But, you know, you've got Clark who's out, Roberts who's out, Corey Evans who's been out long term, but he's back on the grass. Dak, the same, he's been out long term, back on the grass. Unless he's out, I believe he's back on the grass, though. I can't imagine him starting any time soon, although he may be forced to come earlier than we would like. Sirkin has been out long term. Huggins has been out long term. Ballard is going to be ruled out, I believe, after, after the last game where he did get himself a knock. Sealt now is out injured. O'Neill is going to be suspended for the next game as well. So the the uh, the back line for for QPR is going to be nothing short of hilarious. It'll be comical. What What's it going to be? There's going to be probably Styles at left back. You've got Hjelda, who is naturally a centre-back, but has been playing at left back for us. He hasn't played centre-back for us yet. And then you're probably going to have to have Trey Hume, who's a right back, playing at centre-back. And then maybe Pembele, who's played... What, I think two games of football for us all season long. So our back line is going to be absolutely atrocious uh, at, at the weekend. And, and even with players in, it hasn't been great either. So can you imagine how bad it's going to be? And this is me putting them down before we start, but fuck me. Come on. You know, how bad is our injury list? It's an absolute joke. Some us, I'd like to say, I'd, I'd like to point at, at some villain and make someone a villain here. But it, I don't know, who, who do you point at? It's, is it the medical staff? Is it the coaching side? But like I said, for the last couple of years, it's been nothing short of a joke how, how many injuries we've been picking up. We don't have defenders. We literally don't have defenders. End of story. Um, so it's going to be a, a shock to see what we uh, what we do see in the starting eleven. You know, Hume has played in the centre before, but usually it's, you know, it's absolute last case scenario we put Hume at centre-back. But usually he might do it in a, in a you know in like a back three. Um, Alessi, I know he's back in the grass, and I know a lot of people have said that they'd rather see Alessi at centre back anyway. However, Alessi, even though he's naturally a centre back, he's never played centre back for us. He's always played at left back or on the left of a back three. He's never played in a back two for us, from what I can remember. I cannot remember. I don't think he has. I think a lot of people might be forgetting that he actually hasn't played there for a long time. So that would be interesting if he was to come back. I can't. I don't think he will. Of course, we haven't seen the pre-match presser yet. That isn't till. I'll, I'll, well, it'll be Friday, won't it? But uh, I, I just. <laughs> it's just a joke. Well, you know, with us at the minute, it's just when it rains, it absolutely batters it down, doesn't it? I just can't. It just can't get much worse. It can't. I just set myself up there. I didn't have the Mick McCarthy uh, clip again. But this weekend, you know, we've we've got QPR. Who, yes, they're in a poor position at the moment. But if, if you have a look at their you know, sort of their form, their last sort of nine, ten games. They haven't been awful. They've picked up quite a few good results. They haven't lost that many either. It was just their start to the season that was atrocious, you know. And and now if you look at them, you know, they've got play, many players that, that can hurt us. We have the worst form in the EFL at the moment, I believe, with six straight defeats. I'd like to think that with us being back at the stage, Mark, which is where our main good form has ever come from, although, of course, losing six in the bats wouldn't help, regardless of we home or away, but our away form has been really, really poor all season. It's been our home form that has kept us in the sort of top half of the table and looking towards the playoffs. But with this uh, mounting and progressively growing injury list, I just can't see where we can pick up results. Do you know what I mean? You know, when you've got like Sir Clark, who was our main main man, he's been out for a while now, and since he's been out, we're, we're losing games left, right, and centre. No one looks like they're picking up the flat for him. Um, it's it's really, it's really like dark at the minute, isn't it? You can't see a, a way out. We're not getting that sort of rub of the green, and that's not giving anyone excuses. But Jesus Christ, like I said, when it rains, it, it pours. Um, but yeah, so we'll go into the game against against QPR. 
Um, against Southampton, now I've looked back and watched the majority of the game, or at least extended highlights. You know, it was it was one of them where Southampton were very clearly the better side. The, I think the only thing I can cling on to was there is a, there is some fight within the lads, but it is a results game. But there is fight within the lads, and these young lads need to step up if they want to make it in the game. They need to step up. For me, the quality isn't there, in my opinion. The quality, if, as, in terms of a total rounded championship side there isn't enough championship quality in there or at least the quality in there that I think can do a job in the championship to necessarily get the results that we want I don't believe anyway we get rid of the lights of Clark and that I don't see too much championship quality but there is little gems in there who on the day they can perform and they will give you the role but it's whether that all is going to be enough you know I could run around the pitching and I will 100% give, give you my all all game it doesn't mean it's going to be any good if that makes sense you know I've said a lot of People, including myself, give praise for the lads, you know, when they did come back to make it 2 all eventually against Southampton. Um, but for their sort of fight and the desire, and then particularly when their second goal went in to make it 2 all, the uh, the passion that they've shown, um, of course, I love to see that. I love to, I, I do, I, love, I want to, of course, I want to see the lads do well, because in turn, I mean, Sunderland's doing well, and I love Sunderland. Um, but is passion alone enough to turn this tide? Because... Seven defeats in a row in any team, in any division, it is absolutely appalling. And it's it's just far from acceptable. And this injury list, eh, dear God, I can't I, I, I can't imagine what the scoreline is. I'd like to give you a prediction, but I, I don't know what bare bones squad he's going to put together, the lineup he's going to put together this, this week. And people are going to be playing with fucking crutches. Um, <laughs> I can't imagine what that back line is going to look like. Like I said, it's likely going to be Styles at left back, Yelda and Hume in the middle. Oh God, that, even that just knocks me sick. It really does. He might, he might have to go with a five at the back and just throw a midfielder in there as well somewhere and just keep it as a flat five just so we hopefully don't concede and just don't even let the wing backs move forward. Just protect that goal for day life because... It's just a mess, an absolute mess, and I don't even think we could, well we can't recall Triantis, who who's apparently now a centre midfielder for Hibernian. He's uh, apparently every time he plays centre back, he was absolutely appalling for Hibernian, from what I've heard. And he, he found himself on the bench, and then against Rangers the other night, they played him as a CDM, and apparently he looked really neat and tidy. So uh, <laughs> there we go. That's that. My end is not getting the game either. So it just shows how. Uh, yeah, how our recruitment has been. Just get this season over with, man. Get this season over with for me. Get get over the line. And uh, we just need, <laughs> really need to, I think we need to, there's some plays that it's frustrating because you get like Alessi, when he did have a little streak in the in, in the team and he was either in the left of a back three or left back in a back four and he looked very, very solid. Sirkin at times looked incredible going forward. It can be a bit shaky going back. Huggins, he was almost our player of the season before he got injured. At first, he was very in and out of the side with niggles and injuries and what have you. And then he had his longest streak in a, in a team without getting injured. He was improving every single game. He was bombing forward and his defensive work, work was, of course, yeah, it weren't perfect, but he was improving. But there's too many players in the squad who, and I don't think it's just for Sunderland, but they are absolutely just ravaged with injuries. Sirkin has a poor record of it. I, I think I believe Dak has a poor record anyway. Don't worry, he got brought in. I don't fucking know. That's a, that's a Mowbray signing. But Sirkin, like I said, injured all the time. Huggins had a poor in, injury record. Alessi now as well. Ballard, which I think is one of the best centre backs in the league on his day, um, he picks up knocks, um, which everyone does. I know everyone does, but we just have such an injury prone side. And that might be why we're getting these sort of sometimes, on some occasions, you get these, these sort of youth gems at a cut price because every five or six, six games or maybe nine, ten games, they're out for another few weeks. And that's no good. We need lads who can do it for the majority of the season. Um, but there, there we go. It just sounds like I've just been negative for the entirety of the video. But try and pick a positive out of any of that, guys. Do us a favour. Pick a positive out of that shit. But uh, yeah, anyway, this Saturday, I am going to be doing a live stream for the game. So if you are not able to write the game, you want an alternative commentary, my live reaction. We always have a good laugh here. Um, I will be doing a live stream for it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of the, the latest injury news with Silt. Now, uh, we might get some in more injury news over the next couple of days. Either people dropping like flies or people coming back from injury. We never know. We might hear that on a, on Friday. But let me know who you would start in the lineup. This isn't even really much of a preview. I can't. I don't know if he's going to be playing or not. I just thought now that Seal has made it official, he's announced he's out long term. And it's a shame because I do like Seal. 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 Uh, I, do, I do like Seal to a degree. Um, there's a player in there, but it's another young lad. 
he was out long term. But um, either way, if you've enjoyed, hit the like button for me. It's always so appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, take care. Stay jammy.